Hello and welcome to Overdrive. I'm Onirjeet and I'm back with more facts and insights on automobiles. In the previous episodes, we have talked about the basics and understood what's inside the vehicles we drive. If you haven't watched them as of yet, click on the links and watch them now. So on this one, we will talk about the final package that moves the wheels and gets the car going, the drivetrain. By definition, the drivetrain generally constitutes of the entire setup of the transmission, gearbox, drive shaft, axle and the wheels. The wheels and axle, which is the connector of the two wheels, kind of takes us back to our school physics lessons. And the drive shaft transmits the power from the engine to the wheels directly for the car to move. All these components come together to form the drivetrain. There are essentially four different types of drivetrains. Let's check them out. Front wheel drive. In a front wheel drive, the power from the engine is transferred to the front wheels of the car. This makes the entire setup less complex and more compact and hence leaves more cabin. The most widely used drivetrain in commuter vehicles is FWD as it is economical and easier to maintain and yet it puts in the majority of the weight in front providing better control and traction when things get slippery and also manages space well. Majority of hatchbacks in commuter segment cars generally have FWD drivetrain in them. From the Maruti Suzuki Alto to the Hyundai i20 to the Desire to the Honda Amaze name it, they all have FWD in them. Rear wheel drive. Falls under the general category of two wheel drive, in the RWD setup, the power is transferred to the rear wheels. This is the OG setup. And this was this way till the 1980s when FWD was finally introduced as an option. The speciality of RWD is that it can handle more horsepower from the engine and also can handle larger vehicle weights, making it the best choice for SUVs, performance vehicles, luxury sedans and law enforcement vehicles. The major SUVs and MPVs we see on the road like the Scorpio and the Bolero from Mahindra and Toyota Innova Crista are the popular RWD cars. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you click on the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, let's get into the last leg of this video. The last part, the last type of drivetrain, the four-wheel drive and AWD. Also known as the 4x4, it is the kind of drivetrain generally associated with SUVs and off-roaders and large vehicles. The drivetrain has a low range gearbox that reduces the gear ratio to help deliver better torque to overcome obstacles. The speciality of a 4x4 is the manual low range gearbox which the driver has to engage manually in order to engage on off-road possibilities. Although this isn't of much use in normal road conditions where the car generally functions as an RWD. The advantages of a four-wheel drive only is felt in adverse road conditions and hence it specializes in off-roading and conquering challenging terrain. The Mahindra Thar, the Force Gurkha are popular examples of 4x4 vehicles. However, in normal road conditions, the AWD drivetrain serves all purposes. AWD means all-wheel drive. An all-wheel drive system employs a front, rear and centre differential to provide power to all four wheels of the car, permanently or part-time. In some vehicles, the AWD comes as an automatic or part-time system where it functions like a FWD vehicle with added boosts of power to the wheels to tackle traction and enhance performance. The AWD system helps in better traction and enhanced performance yet is much lighter than a 4x4 system and this has led it to be adopted by most performance car manufacturers like the Porsches and the Lamborghinis. Interestingly, AWD options are now available in commuter vehicles too with the Mahindra XUV700, Hyundai Tucson and Toyota Fortuner being popular examples. That's mostly it for now about the different types of drivetrains. I'll be back again next week with more facts and insights on automobiles. Till then, hit the like button and follow us on Instagram and subscribe to the Overdrive YouTube page. And I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.